lighting okay? Can you hear me? Aren't the boys too loud? so you can watch it uh, but yeah long story short um, we've been on a usual walk uh, with our dogs 
Um, and, you know, everyone was like minding their business, uh, they're playing, fooling around, and suddenly a tiger bumped his head into like a bush, and he came back, and we could see like something was not right. He's like, uh, he like keep, uh, kept shaking his head, and you know, but at first we thought that something, like it's nothing serious, it's nothing to worry about, since you know, he's a clumsy boy, so things happen. So we decided it's nothing to worry about. And we just like said, okay, we'll just wait a bit and see maybe it goes away on its own. But we came back from the walk, come here, come here. Uh, we fed the dogs, we like washed them, and you know, she started to show serious signs of discomfort. Hey, I'm talking here, okay? Hey, you let me talk today? looks like you can google it but basically it's like a long sticky grass and it's super dangerous for dogs because you can literally like go up their ears and their nose um, and you know it's dangerous so please stay away from those ones uh, so yeah basically uh -huh. hey oh my goodness I hear buddy <laughs> That's the that's the cone. The tiger had to work for like a couple of days. He was super funny in that cone. Obviously, he didn't really like it, but I mean, he had to wear it. And he was on some eardrops. By the way, I gotta get him the eardrops. Hey, don't eat that. D don't drop it. Drop it, Nella. That's it. They destroyed this toy. <laughs> Took them exactly. Five minutes. Can you please behave, guys? All right, let me check the, the comments real quick. Nala, can you please go? All right. 
or he plays like this. It's not aggressive, it's just his, his manner of, uh, of playing. He's a super playful guy, but we don't have to forget, of course, that he's a German Shepherd. But trust me, <laughs> out of all of his free buds, now is the one that uh, everyone should like look over, because like, she can do anything. Tiger is like a, a sweet boy around her. Great, great, you know how to boss him around? Yeah, in case you're wondering, she's the alpha on the back, <laughs> not tiger, how everyone would expect. All right. Tiger is huge, I know. He's, he's getting so big. He's a big boy. Uh, by the way, I uh, just want to let you know why I wanted to bring up this topic on the live stream, because uh, apparently um, like getting things stuck, especially like foxtails in your dog's ears, mouse or, or, or nose, is a pretty common thing. So just wanted to warn you guys that this can happen to anyone. So as a pet owner, you should know about this issue. And uh, if there are like a few things that I've learned from this situation, as one, foxtails are dangerous. Please avoid them. Uh, obviously, you don't have to go crazy and like avoid all the parks and like all the grass and stuff, because like that's where we uh, take our dogs uh, for a walk, but please uh, be cautious from that. And uh, two, in case you see your dog that he's struggling with something, please take him to the vet as soon as possible, otherwise they can get like um, a ear inflammation and things might be, uh, you know, ugly. And also, please uh, take all the meds that your vet prescribed, because that's also important. For your pet to feel good. Oh my goodness, you are so, so relaxed, so chill in here. What's the matter? <laughs> I think the chicken worked. All right. Let me go quickly through the 
chat. Um, let me go quickly. Move that tiger is okay. Yes, he's okay. Don't you worry. He's fine. Um, which one is the most active dog among this three? Um, honestly, I think Tiger and Nala are definitely the most active. Uh, Leo is a very chill guy. Uh, he likes to be like playful, mostly outside, but like not for too long. And the one who is like uh, all up and running is definitely Nala and Tiger. Like these two are are always on the go. They're playing. They're running. They're fooling around together. So yeah. <laughs> Definitely Tiger and Nella, but maybe because they're also younger. How do you deal with all the dogs shedding? <laughs> Very good question, since now's the shedding season. Um, well, one, you gotta brush their coats daily, because otherwise the house is full of their uh, fur. And two, get yourself a vacuum cleaner. Um, be better if it's automated uh, because you'll have to clean the house basically every day. That's not a secret. But yeah, that's the cost of being a pet owner. Um, thank you so much for all the comments here. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to, uh, to write them down and I'll be so happy to answer all of them. How old was Leo when you first got him? Uh, Leo was like uh, around one month, one month and a half if I'm not mistaken. This was a present from my boy boyfriend, so yeah. We got him uh, when he was still a little puppy. Very sweet. Nothing changed since then. <laughs> Only his size. Other than that. Yeah, he's been growing so much. Now, what are you doing in there? Oh, he wants all the attention. Do you want all the attention, really? Come here. Do you want a Twitter? Yeah, you do? Come here. Come here. Come here. Hello? Come here. Yeah, come. Come here. And give me a Twitter. Here you go, mister. Here you go. Another question. What happens when your dogs meet other dogs? I mean, my dogs are very playful. Um, but I always make sure like uh, they're under my control when there are other dogs because I don't know how that other dog might react. So when it comes to Tiger, I usually um, put him on leash just to you know make sure nothing can happen because the other dogs might bark or like get aggressive and you know tiger is a german shepherd after all <coughs> these two they're playful buds that just you know are super friendly super sociable they'll like go straight to the pet owner and then go to the dog and like skin butts and stuff like that so not worried about them what does it matter one more chicken do you want another chicken piece is that what you want you're gonna keep winning all the live stream, aren't you? Come here. You'll have to. What? Spin? Spin, baby. Alright, good job. Now spin. Spin. Yeah, good job. Now spin. Now you spin. Oh my goodness, you wanna show them all the tricks, you know? <laughs> I kind of wanted to give up for later, but since they're so insistent, do you wanna show them the tricks? Let's do that. Let's do that, guys. Meanwhile, you can ask me any questions you want, and we're going to answer them. Oh, I'm going to take a look real fast. I didn't see 
that spin. Sit. Down. Yeah. Good job, Tigger. Now that's your turn. Do they wake you up on average during night time? Actually, um, they don't wake me up at all during the night time. And I was super surprised during like the that video that we shot earlier, uh, like with the night vision camera. Um, it was definitely like a weird night. It's it's not our usual night. Cause like, is pups they like to sleep? They like to sleep in. <laughs> uh, except Tiger, he's like waking you up at 6 a.m. but then go straight to bed so yeah they're pretty sweet at night they don't really need my attention only if like they have like some problems with their belly and but other than that they're super sweet pups um and super smart absolutely they're super smart oh goodness Sit 
and it's specifically for dogs. <laughs> so we're planning to fit there, like Tiger, Nala, and Leo. We got two of them. So yeah, stay tuned for some pretty cool content. Uh, we we have planned some pretty cool stuff to show this summer. So yeah. Um. Uh. What's in there? What is it? Was it something? <laughs> Look how Nala just sit it on me. <laughs> Do you think that's okay to sit on people? Yeah. asking about shedding. It's like crazy, but you know, it's okay. Hey, do you want to play? Want to play, buddy? Can this wait? Come on. Hey, come on. Come on. Sorry for all the noise, but it's his favorite toy and he wouldn't let it go. <laughs> it's Mr. Ducky. Yeah? Don't throw it. to play tug of war. Leo? No way, buddy. And here are some balls because like Tiger literally lives for these balls. He destructs them pretty pretty fast, but this ones, these ones are harder. Do you like them, buddy? Do you want one too? Here. favorite food. I <laughs> mean, as you can see, it's meat. Um, chicken, he loves chicken, he likes beef, he loves everything meat related. So yeah, that would be it. <laughs> uh, he's a very picky eater. If Nala, like, it's anything she gets, he's very picky. Only eats meat. Uh, when it comes to Leah, he might try some apples, but again, he also leans towards meat. to steal all Tiger's toys. Even if she has like 20, she'll, she's gonna always steal Tiger's toys. Come here. Come here. Chicky, do you wanna give me your toy? Come on, drop it. Oh, are you free now that gonna steal it? He is gonna steal it. Are 
aggressive and bite strangers. It never happened to us. Uh, none of my dogs are aggressive. Mm, none of them ever has bitten anyone, thank God, and I don't think that would ever happen. So my answer is no. Hi from Japan. Thank you so much. Our German Shepherds with less hair, what kind of German Shepherd is Tiger? Yeah, he's a long-haired German Shepherd, as you see, he's a very fluffy one. And yeah, we really love long-haired German Shepherds because, you know, they're like teddy bears. They're super cute, super fluffy. But also, the shedding season is, <laughs> is serious. My dog eats grass. Uh, ours also like grass a lot. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if your dogs are their cows. Our long-haired German Shepherds high maintenance with all the fluff? Well, I would say yes. All dogs with like long hair are usually require more maintenance than you know a usual dog because you have to like untangle that hair and you have to get like a special shampoo and you have to make sure um, they're not dirty or stuff because like it can build up dirt. So yeah, I'd say yes. But we're used to that, so it's fine for us. Uh, how old is Nala now? Uh, she's around 10 months, 10 or 11 months, right? So yeah, she's no longer a puppy. Oh. Hey, what are you doing here? You want to relax? Are you back at the, the play for now? I was talking about NADS earlier, right? And uh, Tiger got prescribed some ear drops, and it's actually uh, the time for him to take his ear drops. Tiger, are you ready? I'm gonna give you a super nice treat afterwards. All right. He's a super sweet guy when it comes to his nads. He knows you have to sit still. Are you gonna sit still, baby? I know you don't like it. I'm gonna tell you later what I'm doing right now, but he has some nads he has to take, and I'm gonna try to give him his eye drops. Come on, baby. I know. You know. All right. Good job. He's gonna shake right now. But it's all right. Are you okay, baby? Now your ear drops. I'm gonna give you the best treat after that, I promise. Prepared something really fun for you. Are you ready? Just a few drops. That's it. You see? Nothing to worry about. Nothing, nothing too bad. I know you're gonna shake. Wait, wait a couple seconds. All right, you're good. You feeling better now? So for anyone asking, it turns out Tiger uh, is a super, here, some treats. He's a super allergic do uh, dog and he like gets allergies from like different plants that are blooming right now. And he gets swollen around his eye area, especially the eye leaf. So that's why he's been prescribed prescribed with some eye drops and um, and some ear drops. And other than that, he has a chronic condition. A chronic condition called panos, and it's something very uh, usual for German shepherds, unfortunately. But it's okay. We're tricking, tricking it and trying to keep it under control. All right, guys, that's what I got you. Ew, they smell so bad. They love it. Come here, come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Yes, I know you're excited. For anyone asking, this are um, dehydrated pig ears. You guys ready? Yeah. Yes. Good girl. Good boy, Tiger. Yeah. They're super, super crunchy. 
actually some enjoy some ASMR. Badges. He's like not a big fan of them, even though he would still try them a couple like, from time to time. When it comes to Nala, there are literally no foods she can hate. She loves everything. And he, and, uh, Liam is a pretty picky eater as well, but he loves apples and he loves chicken. <laughs> what are they eating? They're eating dehydrated figures. They're pretty good for your dog, so you can try them. Will Tiger be okay? Well, if you're take, if you're asking about his uh, ear, his ear is already all right, like he's back to normal. But if you're asking about his eye condition, then that's for life, and uh, he needs to take medication on a daily basis. So yeah. That's a bit sad, but uh, he's alright for now. But if anything happens, I'm gonna keep you updated about his conditions. So don't you worry. Somebody asked if Tiger knows any tricks. Of course he does, and I'm gonna show you what tricks he knows, but only after he finishes his treat, because he fully deserved it. Look at this happy guy. Oh, Leah the Goldie, thank you so much. That is so sweet of you, I appreciate it. Oh, please hug your dog for us. Uh, somebody asked if we have an Instagram account. Yes, we have an Instagram account and you can go in the link description and find it there. I've linked it down. Or you can just look up Leo Fukarev on Instagram and you should find him. Unfortunately, as I said before, this uh, eye condition that Agri is struggling with can't be uh, cured, so it's for life. But we're doing our best to keep it under control and give him uh, medication on a daily basis. He takes, uh, he has to take eye drops, with, like uh, a special, you know, thing in that helps reduce or like keep under control the fatness. So yeah, that's the story. Somebody's asking, will Tiger have babies as well and will you take one to you? Oh my goodness, we, um, we haven't thought about it well, uh, um, we ha haven't thought about it, but I guess one day <laughs> Tiger is going to become a lover. Um, so yes, obviously, uh, we would love to have puppies from Tiger, that would be cool. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't even imagine having like a litter of puppies, German Shepherds, <laughs> that's going to be fun. <laughs> but I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen one day. Is Nala one year old now? No, she's not one year old yet. She's gonna be. She's gonna turn one in September. Thank you 
so much for everyone's sweet comments. I'm reading all of them, so thank you, thank you so much. If I missed a question, make sure to like write it again, because like <laughs> it's a bit hectic. Enjoy some ASMR. Thank you so much. This is so sweet of you, Sylvia. Uh, somebody asked, Nala versus Tiger, who's more difficult to handle? I don't know. Um, Nala, Nala is like super easy to train. She loves treats and as long as you have treats, she's going to be the most obedient dog out there. Tiger is extremely smart as well, but he loves playing so much that sometimes he'll just ignore you just to like play ball or like fetch or something so but i don't know like i wouldn't say our dogs are hard to handle i hope i answered all your questions david sorry if i missed any Leo is 12, Jude the Dane is 7, and Hector the Chocolate Lab is free. What a wonderful bag. Please hug them from us. This is so sweet. What do you want, buddy? You want to play ball? Are you thirsty? Should I give you some water? Or you're fine? Oh, you don't care about water. You just want to play, don't you? Come here. Come here. Tiger could do one thing for the rest of his life. That would be playing ball. <laughs> right, buddy? You like playing ball. I know you do. Uh, how do your dogs react to the postman? Have you ever been to a countryside and seen farm animals? Uh, thank you so much for your question. Uh, God, that I think I... I read it right. Um, how do they react to the postman? <laughs> well, if you're asking about Leo and Nella, they are super happy to like meet any and greet any anyone that comes to our home. Uh, and it doesn't matter if it's the postman, some friends, or like you know, people. They're super uh, sociable and super friendly. Tiger uh, might try to like bark, but he would like become super friendly in like a second. So yeah. Um, so they don't have any drama or any beef with the postman. <laughs> uh, have you ever been to the countryside and seen farm animals? Uh, yes, uh, we actually been to the countryside when I surprised my dog with the family reunion with Simba. You can uh, watch that video on our channel. Uh, and we've, we've done that family reunion in the countryside since the scenery was very beautiful. They had plenty of place to run and frolic around. Uh, and if you're asking about farm animals, uh, we've seen um, a horse and they've seen cows. Tiger wasn't very friendly with the horse at first, because like he got scared. But uh, Leo and Mella, they're like super friendly and chill. What are their favorite dog toys? <laughs> you 
can literally see them right now. Balls. They're squishy and squeaky duck. And any toy that you can play tag of war with. That's basically it. Oh, and the tension ring. That's like their top favorite. <laughs> When you pet Leo and stuff, does he put your claw for more cats? He does. <laughs> he does that. Um, yeah, I think that's that's their usual for dogs. <laughs> bonjour, bonjour. Hi everyone. For, thanks for joining this live. What's their favorite food? You know what? Let me show you what's their favorite food. <laughs> Somebody got so frisky. I should give him some more water. Come here, guys. Sit. Sit. Ella? Come here, girl. Come on. Sit. Yes. Are you ready to catch? Leo, you go first. Catch. Yes. Good catch. Tiger? Oh, no. Tiger, Nella, are you ready? Go! Yes! Great! Amazing! Come here! Come here! Down! Come on! Everyone, relax for a minute! Come on! <laughs> yeah, don't show your butt to the camera, that's not nice! I'm sorry, everybody! Yeah, lay down! Lay down! Yeah, down! Down, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> the perfect moment to do the gentleman trick. Here. Can I give you some water, guys? Hang on. I'll be right back. These dogs are so thirsty. Absolutely, absolutely, everywhere and 24-7. If I go to the bathroom, they're there. If I go, I don't know, outside or I, I go to the kitchen, they're there. Mom, Tiger Leo Nella, who's the most patient? Uh, definitely Leo. He's a very chill guy. He's very sweet. I mean, all of them are super sweet, but like he's, he's super patient. Yes, even in the bathroom, they're like there. <laughs> That's the perks of being a pet owner. Your pets are are following you everywhere, right? Right, baby? Your smell, your your breath stinks so bad. It stinks so bad. Uh, when's their birthday? So Leo's birthday is on 28th of May. Uh, Nala's birthday is on 19th of September. And Tiger's birthday is on um, 3rd of January. Yes, 3rd of January. Hey, what are you doing there? Trying to play ball? Trying to play ball, buddy? Does Nala bite you? <laughs> Nala bites everyone, especially Tiger and his floppy ears. 
Men det är ganska lätt. Det är ganska lätt. Who's the most active? Definitely Nella and Tiger. This two, they are super energetic dogs. Leo is more chill. Whose breath smells the worst? Tiger, Nella's, Leo's, or your husband's? <laughs> I'll say that, I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna answer this question. <laughs> Because we all know the truth. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay, buddy? Is your ball cap? Okay. Oh, what's the matter? Why is this? Oh my goodness, look at all this mess you've done. That was a bad idea. I mean, how can you ask a pet owner about who's their favorite pet? Everyone's my favorite. <laughs> Would you ever ask your mom or dad who's their favorite child? I don't think so. Oh, thank you so much, Leah Bigoldi. You're so sweet. That's... Your birthday's on Friday, January 2? <laughs> what coincidence. <laughs> Was it hectic to manage free dogs uh, in the, at the beginning? Well, I don't know, it's a different routine. I mean, when you have a new pet in the house, you're always building, like getting used to a new routine. When you have two dogs, that also a different routine, and when you have the fur dog, that's a different routine there. So, um, it was a bit hectic at the beginning, I'll have to be honest, because Tiger was a puppy, and like, then Nella was a puppy, and like, hey, be careful! And, you know, they need to go to the bathroom pretty frequently, and that was like the biggest um, issue, but other than that, it was okay. Mohamed, I love your dogs. Thank you so much, dear. I hope I got your name right. Do you take care of this mischievous dogs alone? Well, it's me and my boyfriend, and then my parents also love them so much, so they help us a lot, especially when we have to like um, have a treat or something. Uh, but usually they're with us. I love German Shepherds, you are so cute. Thank you so much. He receives so many compliments. <laughs> right, Tiger? Come here. Oh, that's so sleepy here. Oh, look at the sleepy head here. Are you tired? Want to get some sleep? <laughs> All this we got in the office. the ones asking how do we deal with like fur in the house I told you before I'm gonna tell it once again we have to basically uh, use our vacuum cleaner every day even twice a day if you know things are getting bad so yeah and you have to like uh, give up on like black clothes just saying anyways guys Thank you so much for uh, being here with us in our today's life. That's a wrap for today. Tiger, go say bye to everyone. Come here. Don't show your butt, Tiger. <clears throat> Don't show your butt, Tiger. That's not nice. Let's say bye to everyone. Are you going to say bye? Come here. Let's say bye. Tiger, let this way. Yes. Oh, by the way, there's one more trick I want to show you. <laughs> Tiger, come here. Come here. Sit. <laughs> yes, Tiger, I know, you know. Sit. Wait. Wait, guys. Wait. Oops. Ah, yes! 